now we're going to talk about our endoscope, and this is a zero degree scope, and you can see it's a zero degree scope on here. The end is also flat. If this is a 30 degree scope, it would be beveled, or a 70 degree scope, allowing you to have a look at the subglottis or the ventricle more easily. So, once I've done it, so if you have a look up at our screen, what I can do is here on my handle piece, so if you, so on my handle piece, um, so if you come back to about here, on my handle piece, there are different dials here, and this changes. Now, if you, as I change the aperture, you can see there the aperture is changed. So the blue dial is changing the aperture. So you want the narrowest possible aperture because that will give you the best focus. And then we can focus our actual camera using the other. So you can see there it's going out of focus and it's going back into focus. And so we get a nice focused view beforehand in advance. So that's our anti fog. We'll stick some antifog down there because if we're jetting, right, and you just wipe that down. What you also can do is white balance. And on the top of this camera, there are three buttons. The middle button there gives you a menu, go down to white balance, and you white balance pressing the middle button again. And then we can have a view of our larynx. As we go down, you can see here, this is a view of our larynx down the end scope. Now, one thing I want you to realise is if we just change this, so as I increase the pressure on there, you can see I can now see the anterior larynx much more easily, but as I decrease the, so you can see that's dropping down, and I'm only getting a view of the arytenoid rather than the anterior gomstoid, and that's akin to us breaking the top of the bed, so we're changing the so as you increase the tension on there, we're going to have a better view of the actual larynx. So these are all little clues and tips and tricks that we can have, so that we can have a look into the trachea all the way down to the carina, and those are all possible. So you can then remove foreign bodies if you need to, or examine, or deal with subglottic stenosis or tracheal issues, all from this laryngoscope. And actually, this laryngoscope is not in the perfect place. We would want that laryngoscope to be a little bit more anterior, sitting more in that region there probably with the tip of it just there, anterior to the So that's the best view that we can have. So this is about manipulation of your instruments and getting the right position. All right. So that's that.